The kings that sinned on Berlin town drank in the blood red wine. Says, where will I get a good sailor to sail this ship of mine? Well, up there spoke an old, old knight, sat at the king's right knee. Sir Patrick Spence is the best sailor that ever set sail to sea. The king has written a long letter and signed it with his hand and sent it to Sir Patrick Spence who was walking on the sand. Well, the first three lines that Sir Patrick read so loud laughed he, but the next three lines that Sir Patrick read he wept most Early, said, who is this that has done this deed? Such a cruelty done to me to set us out at this time of the year to sail on a stormy sea. Oh, who is this or who is that? Who has told the king of I? Even if it was my brother dear, I hope that man may die. Make haste, make haste, my good men, all our ship must sail with the morn. Blow it wind, blow it wet, blow it snow, blow it sleet, blow it summer breeze, or deadly storm. To Norway, to Norway, to Norway over the foam. It's the king's daughter Margaret to Norway, and we home spring her back home. While well, they hoisted their sails on a Monday morn, with all of the speed they may. And they have landed in far Norway, all on the wooden stay. They had not been a week, a week in Norway, but twice. When all of the lords in far Norway began aloud to say, You Scotsmen swallow up all our king's gold and you drink all our ladies' fee. You lie, you lie, Sir Patrick cried, you lie and you swear falsely. For I brought as much of the white money as your king and queen gave me. And I brought a boat full of good red gold out over the sea with me. Make haste, make haste, my good men, all for our ship must sail with the morn. Oh, say not so, my master dear, I fear a storm. Last night I saw the new moon clear, the old moon in her arm, and I fear, I fear, my master dear, will come to harm. Well, blow it fair, blow it foul, our ship must sail with the morn. Blow it fair, or blow it foul, or blow it deadly storm. And betide us well, or betide us woe, our ship must leave the shore. For I won't spend any more of my money drinking with Norway dogs no more. They had not been a league, a league at sea, but only one. When the clouds grew dark and dreary and blotted out the sun. And they had not been a league, a league at sea, but only three. When the wind blew wet and cold and loud and grumly grew the sea, they had not been a league, a league at sea, but only five. When the sails were tore and the topmast cracked and the ship began to rise, Yes, the anchors broke and the top mast cracked. It was such a deadly storm. And the waves came over the broken ship till all our sides were torn. 
Well, where will I get a bonny boy who will take my helm in hand? Or else who will climb up the tall top mast to see if he's by land? Well, here I am, a bonny boy, I'll take your helm in hand. Or else climb up the tall top mast, though a spear I'll spy no land. Mount up, mount up, my bonny boy, mount up that top mast high. Look around, look around, my bonny boy, and see if dry land be nigh. Well, it's fifty miles from shore to shore, and fifty banks of sand. And all of that we must sail a man before ever we see dry land. Look around, look around, my bonny boy, and see what else you see. Look around, look around, my bonny boy, and see what else may be. Methinks I spy the mermaid and with a silver glass in her hand. And methinks she says if we'll carry on, we'll surely see dry land. Well, away with her, she's a wind woman, you just let her fleet and be. And since she's shown her face today, dry land we'll never see. Make haste, make haste, my good men, I'll fetch the silken sheets and the twine. And wrap them up in the good ship's side, and let not the salt sea in. But those Scots nobles were very loath to wet their high-heeled shoe. But long before that day was o'er, their hats were wet all through. Yes, those Scots nobles were very loath to wet their coal black hair. But long before the game was o'er, they wetted everywhere. And the first of that Sir Patrick stepped, it took him to the knee. And the next step that Sir Patrick stepped, they all drowned in the sea. And many were the feather beds that fluttered over the foam. And many were the noble lords who never did more come home. Long, long may the ladies sit with their fans all in their hands. Before the Caesar Patrick's fans come sailing back to land. Long, long may the ladies stand with the gold combs in their hair. Awaiting for their own dear lords whom they shall see no more. Well, it's forty miles off Aberdeen and fifty fathom deep. And there lies good and Sir Patrick Spence with all the Scottish fleet. Yes, half a mile off Aberdeen is fifty fathom deep. And there lies good Sir Patrick Spence with his Scots lords at his feet.